Good afternoon. Today we are going to get into a little issue that you might have when you're doing a voiceover, which is somebody is maybe not prepared to do the voiceover, they haven't had enough water before, and there's a lot of that sort of saliva sound the going on in their mouth because they're, they're dried out. Uh, this happened to me just recently. I am currently working on a video for a winery in Spain. Uh, it's an interview between father and son, and the father, his voice is got a lot of saliva sounds going on, like a lot. <laughs> Every three words is at least two or three sounds. So I'm going into the ultimate detail to remove the sounds from them. And as I do that, I figured why not show you how it's done. Um, I learned about this not too long ago, and it's, it's really, really, really helpful. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this in Adobe Audition. Adobe Audition is great because of what you see right here. It, it's a visual method. Um, and it's really quick, it works very well. So let's not waste any more time, let's get right into it. All right, so we have now entered into the audio audition timeline. Here is my interview. Uh, this is the lavalier that I have on the father. Uh, so here you hear the son, but it's not as loud as the father, which is this. It is in Spanish, so you won't actually, unless you speak Spanish, you probably won't understand what he's saying. Okay, so what I was referring to when I when I meant these saliva sounds is the following. Listen here, and you'll and you'll notice that he does a lot of the in in when he speaks. No, yo creo que nos penetramos bastante bien. No tenemos muchas diferencias. Alguna cosilla siempre hay padre e hijo. Algún. Okay, so you could probably notice in here there are quite a few. This is what you would normally see, right? You've got just the waveform here. Um, but in order to see that visual representation, you want to come up here next to waveform and multi-track, and you want to click on this right here, which says show spectral frequency display. Otherwise, it is shift D. Uh, so that's this right here. Um, and essentially what you're seeing is, it's kind of like a heat source. Uh, the more frequency, the brighter it gets. Down here, there's not very much, but it's there. Uh, and here, if you select, you can, so you can listen to just those sections, for example. So that's that, those frequencies versus if you select it all. You get the whole voice, you know, you can select down here and just get the deep. Uh, so essentially what we're doing is we're going to use this to remove those sounds. You can probably see in this waveform where they are. Let me go over this right here. Right there you heard one. So. It's this thing right here. If I select just this, maybe select a little more so you can hear exactly what I'm talking about. See, we found the issue. Let's listen here. And then select this. Notice how it's only up in here. Sometimes, depending on how deep of a saliva sound it is, it might start going down below 5,000, but usually it stays above 5,000. Like, let's see right here. Are you yeah, see that one went pretty low. It's, it's going all the way down here. So in order, essentially, it's quite simple. Once you've found out where they are, um, and you could pretty much use this one as an example because most people's voices are going to be the same when it comes to saliva sounds. Um, I actually haven't tested the difference between female and male, but and actually older versus younger, but it really shouldn't make a difference because it's it's all in the same frequency. So essentially, yeah. I select this, delete. It's after, and here we got before. And back to after. It's totally removed. So some that was a simple example, like right here, for example. So, uh, so uh, you can just select probably above here. So you want to you want to try and keep the integrity of what you've got going. So this is a simple one, right? It's in the middle of nowhere. You can remove that, and then up here, remove, and then maybe just in between here, and test that out. Uh, so uh, maybe. Sort of take this and you can you don't have to completely remove everything you can come over here and you can just sort of lower it by eight decibels for example and see how it just got a little bit darker so uh, are you so that helped remove that one uh, like i said he has a ton of them 
uh, so it's a bit of a pain to work with but um, let's see right here this is a big one and honestly there's no there's no speaking going on it not really matter I can literally just select all this and just delete it so are you letting it let's go for an example that's just a little bit more complicated like right here all right so this one here there's one big one right here there's a smaller one right here and another one in here with a bit over here so essentially you want to go through and remove as much as you have to to fix the sound but also remove the least possible because you want to keep the integrity of what you're listening to so if i select this one and try deleting it and just listen back you know this is all just sort of a trial and error so that worked let's go before so totally remove that sound and then we want to come in here grab this one and then in here as well I want to be careful in here not to remove too much of this area because this is important if you listen to just this that's his voice this up here you've got sort of ambience and stuff but also this is where all of the mistakes are coming so I want to remove all the way down to there there's a little bit going on so maybe I'll select a tiny portion of this and reduce it by eight decibels so you kind of fixed it without removing the integrity because you don't want to remove that all otherwise it's going to really mess with his voice especially once you start adding audio effects which I haven't started yet um, Remove this one here. Ignacio es el que se dedica a ello. A few in here. So you can really see it's quite simple once you once you look at this graph. It really changes everything. Uh, the other methodology of doing this would be up here in the waveform. Ignacio es el que se dedica a ello. You'd sort of listen for it you'd select the exact section you want to select as little as possible and you'd come up here into effects, EQ, graphic equalizer, 30 band and you would do this. So you know that it lives around from 5 to 12.5 thousand uh, hertz and so you reduce it down gradually suck out 8 to 12 completely and you'd click apply. But it's not as precise. This is a much more precise method as you saw because you're selecting just the frequencies that matter for every single individual click. So I hope you enjoyed that short but hopefully really useful tutorial. Uh, it's a pretty simple thing to remove in the end when you look at that sort of frequency spectrum. It changes the way that editing works and once again I don't really know if Audacity has that feature but Audition is really, really useful when it comes to that because it, it helps with removing pops, it helps with removing that saliva sound. Uh, in general, uh, noise reduction, when it comes to detail noise reduction, not just using the noise reduction algorithms, it's a really, really useful tool. So once again, I hope you enjoyed and good luck with your projects.